Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're here with another episode of the Lord of the Rings of Power. I don't need to say the Lord of the Rings, right? You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. The Rings of Power, um, episode three. Last time on the Rings of Power, um, the bromance that I did not know I, I needed, but I very greatly appreciated uh, between Elrond and um, Durin. Um, yeah, uh, that was my favorite episode of the season so far, mostly because of those two characters. We we managed we, we learned a lot more about the characters as it should be and i know some of the complaints for this series so far has been that you know it's been a bit of a slow burn but i think that was very much necessary for the the, the scale that they're going with and i'm enjoying learning more about these characters um you know nori and poppy are absolutely adorable i have not i've not seen the actress or nori anywhere before but I, I absolutely love the character and, 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 you know, I think she's doing a fantastic job. They're a delight to watch. They're a treasure. I hope nothing happens to them. Um, but, you know, the, the, the scene with Elrond and Durin really, really got me in the last episode. Um, and and, um, and uh, I think Durin's wife, Disa, I think her name is, um, she did a fantastic job as well. Just that whole scene entirely, how it was written, you know, um, the actor for Durin, man, um, I don't know, something about his... His demeanor, you know, he's gruff and angry, but you can't help sympathize with him. Um, and um, Elrond, of course, just silver tongue all the way and managed to earn forgiveness within the same episode. Um, you know, clearly there was something political afoot outside of, you know, the, the drama between the two characters. I think that had something to do with, um, you know, why Durin needed to put up that, 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 that front um so there was more that he was not saying and we saw it at the end of the episode where his father came in and and you know reveal that they do have something that they're keeping hidden I, I did look up the name of that stone from the hobbit i think it's called arkenstone or something like that I might be butchering that um but i'm wondering if it's just if it's the same jewel um perhaps not it could be something completely different um, but I'm curious to find out. Of course, um, the stranger who everyone seems to be losing their minds about or wondering who that is, whether it's Gandalf or one of the other, I think, blue wizards that um, that appear around this time. Um, um, I, I, I would prefer that it, it's not Gandalf because I, this series has done a good job so far of keeping itself separate from the original trilogy that I'd hate for them to lean too heavily on that now. So I would much prefer that this is one of the blue well, um, sorry, blue wizards, um, and then that way we can do our own thing without people wondering, you know, why did they do this? If Gandalf, Gandalf would never do this or that, and and then the comparisons start up again. So I'd prefer we focus there. Um, of course, Galadriel had her bit of adventure with the sea monster, and she seems to have found a companion. Um, I've forgotten his name, but I get the feeling that he's a character that will be seeing for a while all the characters that we've been introduced to I, I i believe will be some of our focal characters going forward and i think aaron deer is is as i mentioned before is one of my favorite ones to follow um who's now be, who's now been captured by the orcs and um you know not sure what his fate is but um i i, I think he was too important given how much time we spent on him in the first two episodes that so he's too important to have just killed off screen like that so uh, we'll definitely be seeing him again all right episode three guys let's check it out all right so we finally have our introduction to the orcs i mean we got one last episode but that's right they they hate the sunlight they look really really good Where have they had these people held all this time? Huh? How, how did he get taken? And him? What the hell is going on? How did they capture this many elves? Yeah, all the people that they took. But then they do need to explain that though, because you know, to capture that many elves, they would need. 
I don't, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit confused about that part, especially considering that they cannot be in direct sunlight, right? They're afraid of the light. How did they manage to capture this many elves? Uh, she was rescued, but by who? Someone we know? Trying to get a good look at their ears to see if they're elves or humans. One of the elves are on board my ship. Strange tides indeed. To what port do we see? See for yourself. Right, right there. Okay. Fairly well. Oh. Okay, let's just continue being vague. It has a dagger. It's okay. Yeah. Now's not the time. They did save your life. I, I do know there's supposed to be, I think, another. Oh, that looks brilliant. Another race of people that are human but not quite i think that's what aragorn was they live longer than most humans i'm not i don't remember what exactly they were called Land of Star, the westernmost of all mortal realms the island kingdom okay of numenor numenor hmm. The architecture certainly rivals the elves here. I like that they've done that this for this series. Every location looks, looks very distinct from the other. Hmm. Not men like you. In the Great Wall, your ancestors stood with Morgoth. These men stood with the elves. Well, they weren't hostile towards her, so there must be a good, a valid reason. <laughs> that would be wise. Fetch them immediately. <laughs> it's been that long since they've had an elf visit their, their home. No one meals in Numenor. Oh, things are a bit different here. <laughs> Name thyself. Who is this? Galadriel of the Noldor, daughter of the Golden House of Finarfin. Oh, so long tail. Guess she forgot to mention some of that. Halbrand. Just Halbrand. Of the Southlands. Circumstances are rough. We are companions by chance. Met on the open sea. It's not a, un, an unreasonable request. It was because of the elves that oh. you were given this island. Why is everyone surprised by that? Our ancestors were not given anything. Someone anything. read the wrong history books. The blood of their kin. What the elf means. Then if blood be the price of passage, I'll I welcome Who's stopping her? Why why would they stop her from leaving? If they don't want to accompany her, just let her go. Perhaps it'd be better if we stay, stay long enough, good queen, to give you and your advisors adequate time to weigh our request. It's not even a difficult to ask. And the elf is to be restricted to palace crime. I will not be made a prisoner. I so, you should be Numenor's guest. Her companion does have a point because I think Galadriel is a bit above herself at the moment. What did he take? Stole something, didn't he? Right. The sea is always 
often. All right. Oh, that's his dad, and he messed up. This is a tip. There you are. Beric, my boy. Completely ignoring her. Okay, so I, I'm confused. I thought this was a flashback of the captain, but is this the captain's kids, perhaps? Okay, we'll see. What is she hiding? They, her advisor spoke about her, her father. Elendil. Something that transpired back then. So, oh. All right, so you knew the translation. So why did you ask him the meaning? The ancient tongue of the Eldar. It can also mean elf friend. Then are you? Ah, uh, that be friend. why. <laughs> oh, because he rescued the elf? I mean, they can simply turn her away. Was it known to be treason before? Respect. Or not? I don't imagine he would have done it if that was the case. To be most prudent. Then I shall have to ask you to perform a service. Okay, a sword. Um Do you want him to kill the elf? Or accompany the elf? Hopefully the latter. First opportunity. Well, Sauron to get a glimpse about this. An place, elf? Take it. Okay, the closest tree line. And when the sun is at its strongest, we will make our escape. If even one of us makes it home, we can return in force. Sounds like a good plan. Uh oh. These roots mark our path. Rip them out. Rip the whole stinking tree down. Mm. Patient lot. This tree sprang from the earth long before you crawled from whatever wretched. Place. I don't think they care. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't think they care, Captain. Come it on. Just do as they ask. You have you have you a plan, right? A water rusher. I don't trust that. Oh, don't do it. What are you doing? <sighs> hmm. What are these? What's this orc up to? He seems rather clever. No! <laughs> Now you have one less worker. Come on, Captain. Eyes forward. Uh, can't prioritize the tree in this moment when you need the men to get back and get reinforcements. Just ask for three days. Don't create any mischief. Three days. Be wiser to steal the half sail. That skip will hardly get you out of the harbor. I assure you, it's an improvement in my prior mode of passage. Mm. If you didn't, you'd be dead. You'd be a bit more grateful. Or get out of my way. L'allier Sanke Louis. I do wonder what the Queen ordered him to do. He did. He said, I, I know what he said, but is that truly what she asked him to do? And not take Galadriel out to the back and deal with her. You know, um, 
I, I, I guess we'll take him at his word at the moment that it's just to keep her out of trouble. Okay, so she just doesn't want to be confined to the palace, I suppose. That's fair. That's the quest that he wants. We sail to our island, eating our food, drinking our ale. What will you take next? Okay. It's one of you people discussions. This isn't going great. You're right. You're right. Here I am. I'm a guest on your island, and I haven't shown you the faintest bit of gratitude. Okay. Next few rounds. He's diffusing the situation. I'm impressed. I, I know he's gonna steal one of the crests, but <laughs> still impressed. Where did he get a coin to buy any of this? Probably stole it. Surely someone's monitoring him though, right? Didn't get very far. Take it. I don't want to. I think it's gonna be that simple. Please. Let's see how good of a fighter he is. Why not? Ah, oh. all right. Is is a fighter? I mean, this is not a great look. Don't don't kill any of them. This is not gonna. All right. So elves had a lot of influence here, so why are they hated? Oh, still alive. Perhaps you can explain to us what happened. What is this? The account of a human spy retrieved from an enemy dungeon. This is new sigil. It's the same symbol. It is a map of the Southlands. Oh, it's a location. Interesting. Matters are worse than I imagine. Mm -hmm. Now, who is his successor, though? Are they referring to Sauron or someone else? If Sauron has indeed returned. Okay. The Southlands. But he mentioned that he goes by other names, one of which apparently is Elvish. No, at least now she knows where to look. Considering that the half which are presented as this more closely knit community, I'm surprised that they would just leave someone behind just because they're injured. Sticking your neck out for him any more than you already have. There's head sense, Poppy, and there's heart sense. There's common sense and nonsense. And if you're all out of the first, then you can borrow some of mine. Rather borrow some star charts out of the Poppy. <gasps> Betrayal. How dare you? Uh oh. He's here. He's here. Uh oh. Yes, yes. Almost done. <laughs> How much have you got left? <laughs> Just a little left. Just tell them I'm almost ready. Right. No, I mean left. Yes. No. I mean, <laughs> I'll tell them right now. I'll go straight now. Straight ahead. I don't know, I feel as though Nori will have a tough choice to make because 
she wants to help a stranger but at the moment her family needs her you know when it is time to migrate they're gonna need her help so i don't know what she'll do she may have to make a choice between her family and what she perceives to be you know fate in helping the stranger this migration they likewise will be carried with us in our hearts and in our memories that's harsh just leave you leave you guys behind okay so this is partly why the festival is important to kind of remember those that they had to leave behind is that a relative of poppies i don't remember what poppies last name is uh oh no no what are you doing oh this is not good oh he's gonna be seen this is terrible she might get thrown out for inviting this giant here destroyed it and oh god oh, I feel like something horrible is about to happen oh no 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 Calm down, someone. I don't know what they'd consider scarier. Him with it on or <laughs> without. There's some explaining to do. Laws are clear. Hard to argue with that. Half what that breaks them is to be expelled. Oh. Miss Brandyfoot is young. With much hair still to grow on her toes and scent between her ears. This is surprising. We depart as planned. Brandyfoot cart will be with us. No, oh, this is shocking. At the back of the caravan. At the back. No, yeah, but her dad. It's still a bit difficult for him. Yeah, I got to keep Poppy out of it. You may as well have stamped our name in the book of the left behinds. No, yeah, don't. Well, her, reason he came don't us. blame her, but it is her fault. You're special. You're just a child. I know. I'm not special. I know I'm just yeah, one he little is. harpist okay. in a grand, wide world. But he is special. Darling girl. Ever has your heart been like your father's? But the tallest milkweed gets snipped. Don't stand out. It's time to pack. Yeah, it's odd, isn't it? How fares the quest for peace? That's a bit expected. Found himself in a cell. What happened? Dispute about a book. Hellbrand. Don't stop. <laughs> Let's say you both share in that. I found this. In the Holy Glow. Same sigil. No, he didn't. Many ages ago, a man bearing that mark united the scattered tribes of the Southlands under one banner. The very banner that might unite them again today. Hmm. So he was king, or how exactly? 
All right, they're giving us a lot of information. I'm, I'm just trying to absorb everything here. I just noticed something about the queen that her ears are hidden. Could be pure coincidence, of course. The moment we feared. The elf has arrived. Alright, time to migrate. What what's the plan with the the, the giant though? Did she leave him behind? Yeah, yeah we're having a terrible time of it. And then, so is is Poppy all alone? I'm, I'm, they, they did call some names that she reacted to. I didn't realize maybe that was her family that passed. If so she's the only one carrying her wagon. I mean, if Poppy can carry her own, I'm sure the two of you. Oh, the giant. He's not in the wagon, is he? Sure, they would have noticed that. He can help them carry. Friend. Oh, he spoke. Now pull that wagon. <laughs> I still don't understand why Poppy is carrying her own wagon and you guys can't carry one, you know? Alright. Are we sticking to the plan? The sun's at the highest point. Oh. Here we go. So how did they capture these elves in the first place? I, I don't understand it. Uh, we just need one of you. Keep hammering. Keep, uh, don't stop. Now we do know these orcs are mad strong, so... Ah. Uh, Sweet. Go down. All right, come on, come on. Still need one of you to make a run for it. Oh, god damn. They brought something with them. Isn't that wolf-like thing? Yeah. This is not good. Ah. Come on. Alright, around here. Yeah, chain it in. But we still need someone to run. It was the point. Yeah, the point of this was for one of you to get free. Focus. Yeah. You deserve that one. Alright, time to go. Go, go. Oh, so it's the captain that gets away. Go, go on. Come on. Nah, no, he's not going to make it. Damn. They have people around. I, I didn't think about that. That they have guards watching the, the encampment. Bring him to Ada. So close. Who is this? Alright, we're about to meet the the mid-level boss. Oh, 
Doesn't it look like an R? All right, episode three of the Rings of Power. Um, there was a lot of lore this episode. I'm gonna have to watch this episode um, just to kind of collect all that information uh, and, and process it all. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, Galadriel and her companion, I, I've not memorized his name as yet. Um, you know, in, in in fairly different positions at this point, at the end of the episode, one behind the cell and the other not, you know, um, I fully expected Galadriel would be the one behind bars because she's been so, um, forthright and, and, and aggressive in everything that she's done, you know, the moment she got there, she was naming off titles as if anyone there should care. And I think it's, it was a fair assessment. Um, I think she needed to be knocked a peg down, um, at some point because in her thirst of vengeance i think she's come to expect um people to react a certain way to her um and clearly the queen here did not give a damn <laughs> and understandably so you know you're a guest here um, we don't owe you anything um but you know i guess from the history she's learned that the numenar were given this land and the queen corrected her and saying, you know, we weren't given this land. We, we paid for it. We, we, we fought um, to, to, to claim this land. Um, so just because you were allies, you know, and, and it, it goes back to something that I spoke, I think, back in episode one or two about the elves and how they, they see themselves as somehow above every other race. Um, and I, I'm curious to see whether they will actually explore that element in this series. Especially when we see the relationship between the elves and the humans or the elves and the dwarves. It's the same thing, you know, they, they appear to feel as though they're somehow above all the other races. And the Numenar are interesting. Um, I, I did mention that, you know, I, I think in Lord of the Rings, I think um, Aragorn is, I don't know if he's part Numenar or whatever the case might be, but this other race of men who do have long lifespan. Um, I'm not sure if this is the same because it, it, it hasn't been mentioned, but I'm going to look it up after. <laughs> um, and, and I'm assuming it's the same race of people, um, but we'll see. We did learn that her companion is in fact, I think, a king um, who I, I'm guessing his, wherever he was from was overrun by um, orcs and he had to flee. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see where his story goes. What I'm hoping, I don't want it to be a, a romantic... Um, I, I like the dynamic between him and Galadriel. I don't think it needs to be romantic. And I'm hoping that they don't try to go in that direction with it. And they're just, you know, people who have come to become good friends and aligned in terms of what their goal is, which is to stop more gods, you know, whoever it is that's taken over. I think it's, I'm guessing it's, it's Sauron at this point. I'm just a bit confused because they they said they referred to him by a different name, which was in Elvish, um, which gives me some indication that maybe Sauron was an elf. I'm not sure. I don't know enough about his lore to confirm or deny that. Um, but I would much, very much, I very much like their dynamic as it is now. I don't think it needs to become romantic. So I hope we don't go that route. Um, but yeah, and and we were introduced to new characters, like the captain that rescued her, and we. You know his family and there must be a reason why we've been focusing on them for the, a large part of this episode so i think they're going to be integral to the story going forward i can see people feeling as though this many characters might feel a bit overwhelming uh but it, what it does remind me of because um my favorite series of all time black sails um does something similar uh, because you are introduced to a lot, a lot, a lot of characters. And even by season three of Black Series, you are being introduced to new characters. Um, but, the, you know, over time, and that's why it's necessary to have a slow burn so you can learn more about these characters. And I think it will follow a similar, if it follows a similar pacing with this show, um, it won't feel as overwhelming as we progress because you will know and You'd be so you'd be interested enough in these characters to remember their names um so i think the captain is one that we're going to be following especially since he 
you know, he seems to come from a line of Numenor who had allegiance with the elves and the old king who likewise was, but was, you know, deposed because he showed some favor, favor to the elves. But I, they haven't explained quite yet why the Numenor have turned their back on the elves. And this queen, I, I did mention that, you know, for the duration of the episode, her ears were hidden, which I, I normally I wouldn't find it unusual, but it, it feels as though they, they, they made a point to not show her ears. It could just be the, the headdress that she wore, and I'm completely wrong. But given um, what was mentioned about her father, I am wondering whether she's maybe part elf or something to that effect. And maybe, you know, they're doing everything they can to not draw attention to them because, you know, they've now grown this, you know, they've now detested elves and, you know, maybe it wouldn't be so well received among the people. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how far that goes. Um, Nori and Poppy finally um, made some progress, I suppose. The strange wizard now speaks. And he's at the very least under control. He's not violently lashing out or anything like that. And you know, it came to a, uh, uh, it became a situation where he's now assisting them um, because her father is just not capable of traveling. I was curious to see where that was going to go. I thought she was going to have to make a choice between her family and helping this um, this this stranger because she feels it's fated. Um, but no, he's going to be, I guess, traveling with them for a while. I don't know if they're heading in the direction that he wants to go, where the stars align, or they're just traveling together for the moment. Because the, the guy who owns the book and the pages were burnt because the stranger, yeah, wasn't paying attention. So I don't know where we're heading. You know, I, I, I feel eventually these stories will converge, um, especially with what's happening with um, Aaron Dare. Unfortunately, Lost is, is his friend and the, you know, the, the captain of the fort. Something that still puzzles me, however, is why, how all these elves were actually captured. Aaron Deer was on his own and, you know, he was taken by several elves when he was pulled through the, the, the roots on the ground, right? But these guys were supposed to be at the fort and they were supposed to be preparing to leave and head back home. So. I don't, I, I don't understand how they would have gotten captured in broad daylight. And maybe it's a case where the elves, the, the orcs ambushed them, you know, when they were getting ready to leave. Could be. Especially since I think Aaron Deer mentioned when he went to see that, that woman that um, they were probably out looking for him. So it could be that while they were out looking for him, it got dark and they were ambushed by some orcs and taken. And we know that the orcs are ridiculously strong, so... Um, as, as strong as the elves themselves are, we've seen one orc do massive damage. So it's not out of the realm of possibilities that, you know, a group of them could take the elves. I, I just felt as though they, sh they should have been more prepared for that. But it's been 75 years and, you know, uh, yeah, peace makes, makes you, you know, complacent. So it, it could have been one of those situations. But yeah, I, I mean, it was another enjoyable episode. I, I, I think things are starting to move up move a lot faster now now that the orcs have entered <laughs> the equation uh, unsurprisingly you know um the orcs that we have seen in this episode and, and and i love that they each have some unique changes to whether it's the mask or or scars and, and so on just to give them uh, a sense of realism and uniqueness to each orc that you do see they don't just look they don't just all look the same um and and i really appreciate that so we, we got a taste of the elves the, the orcs in this episode and that you know they're they're brutal and and not as mindless as you would think they are you know they they are strategic in what they're doing because they very clearly expected someone to try to make a run for it um and on the off chance that you do apparently there are some guards around the encampment that will just shoot you dead um yeah I, I do struggle. One of the things I'm hoping this show is a bit more consistent with is the kind of managing how the elves, the elves 
strength versus their weaknesses i feel as though it, it's fluctuating a bit because in the very first episode when we encountered this snow troll um you know galadriel by her lonesome managed to take down a snow troll all on her own snow troll stronger than than these orcs i, I would imagine um and so there's a bit of inconsistency with which elves are i don't know if it's a matter of experience or skill uh, which elves are strong enough to perform certain feats um clearly galadriel is one apparently i don't know what makes her stronger than everyone else um you know why her guards weren't able to put up a, at least a decent fight against the snow troll um, and the same thing here with uh, with aaron Deer, uh why he was able to put up a much better fight than his um his his counterparts here so there, there are a few inconsistencies with the i guess the the strength scaling for the for, for the elves some of them appear to be stronger than others but i'm not really sure why they are um if it is that these individuals are just more skilled because they've got more experience in this particular area but we know iron deer was a grower before joining this this army um so he wasn't always a fighter you know um, so there's just moments like that where I wish I, I would hope that they they show a bit more consistency. Um, but again, it's still pretty early on. We could encounter other elves and see what they're more what they are capable of when in combat. We haven't seen a whole lot of combat as yet, um, so that remains to be seen. And 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 so there may be some more consistency with that going forward. Uh, yeah. But all in all, um, it, this was another enjoyable episode. I'm curious to know more the, um, the mysteries and, you know, uh, there's also a, a, a lot of lore and, and things that I'm learning about this world that I'm enjoying so much. Um, and I can't wait to check out the next episode. All right, guys, that is it for the um, for episode three of the Rings of Power. Uh, remember to post down below. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this episode. Hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you for the next one.